Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to another lovely episode of the Slovak Mountain Man. That is I, the Slovak Mountain Man, and today we shall be celebrating this over 3,000 followers here, you know. Woo! <laughs> I have my little party hat, you know, whoop whoop, and uh, it is really cool. So thank you everyone, you know, uh, all the people watching and, you know, all the subscribers here for following my lovely channel, you know. I remember, like, I think it was like a year ago. We barely made it to 300, you know, I even made a video, a Splatoon one, celebrating the 100, you know, followers here. But, ladies and gentlemen, the video I am talking about here is the one talking about how I smuggled a Game Boy Color here. That was the first time that any one of my videos gained popularity and became viral. And now, uh, as of recording this video, it is over 200,000 views, which is insane. None of my videos combined have ever, I think, you know, done that well. So today I shall be talking about, you know, some fun facts or, you know, answering some questions about this video. Now, the one that I, you know, have seen the most is the one saying basically, Oh, that is my Game Boy. Oh, you found my Game Boy Color. Give it back. That is my green Game Boy. No, he is lying. Can you give it back to me? I left it there for you. It's mine. My name is Chris. That was my childhood. No, give me back my Game Boy and my game. Come on, please give it back. I'm going to tell my dad. That was my Game Boy. You know, it wasn't yours. It was mine I left it there for you you stole it basically you know all these people tell me that they are, you know their names are Chris and you know that the Game Boy was theirs that they left at the park and I smuggled it first of all it is not your Game Boy color you know second this happened like 15 years ago you know uh, and most of these oddballs I think commenting this are like you know little toddlers and even if it was yours well I have some news for you as ironic as it is, the original Game Boy Color that I actually owned or smuggled, you know, from my toddler days, I actually lost probably when I was moving or something, because as a toddler, I moved like a million times, you know. And this one, I bought from eBay a few years ago, you know, and this is the one that was on the video. The speakers weren't working, and so I actually, um, the reason it was like all open and animated, you know, animation, the stop motion, was because I was opening this Game Boy Color, and I was actually fixing it, so I put a DS speaker in here, and now it works you know like new and so the only thing I still have is the Pokemon crystal this is actually the original I had from the toddler days like 15 years ago I am sorry to break your bubbles everybody but there is no way it's basically impossible that you know even if I was the one who smuggled your Game Boy back in the toddler days you know there's no way that could have happened you know because the park you see in the video is actually completely different from the one I used to live near and this game of color is actually different too you know it's basically you know very very slim chance that it was actually me who smuggled yours but I know half of these comments are you know like joking and the other half are kind of serious but I just wanted to say that because you know my email has been spammed like up the rear you know every single day I get like at least one of these messages you know and I'm like what the what but I kind of laugh at that and uh, some people you know wanted me to kind of like give it away to them or you know if they can buy it or something you know I would recommend going to a thrift store or like a flea market if you want to you know find one and hopefully you do because you know I've seen some for like ten dollars or something you know maybe twenty you know so just look around there but I think my favorite comment from this group here has to be this guy here you know laugh factor I am Chris and you can have it cuz I was just passing through so if you didn't it would die and no one would get it thank you laugh factor you hear this if I wouldn't have found the Game Boy Color it would have died so good thing we saved it, you know. And speaking of that, some people, you know, also said, you know, rest in pepperoni, Chris, you know, because, you know, they thought maybe I killed him or something. I don't know. Say rest in pepperoni. He didn't die. You know, he just, I don't know where he is, the guy. And speaking of which, all those people who say your name is Chris, I actually found out something, you know, in the comments. One of the viewers here actually told me that Chris is the default name of your trainer if you don't, you know, name him something yourself. So... There you go, you know, it was probably not the original kid's name, Chris, you know. But in Pokemon Crystal, you can actually choose to be a female character as well. And Chris starts with a K instead, you know. So it's, you know, two Chris's, but it's still, you know, like the same game. So ha, there you go, you little turds. Another one that I've seen was people claiming that I smuggled Young Lifestyles Game Boy Color. And that is a YouTuber. Me and him, we don't know each other, you know. But he made a video as well. I made mine in January 2016. 
and he made his in April 2016. His is called How My Game Boy Color Got Stolen. It was really funny because he actually commented on my video too saying, you know, give me back my Game Boy. I have been looking for it for 10 years. But when I watched his video, his was actually purple. You know, he was just joking around with me. But it's really funny that the comments on his video were saying how it's ironic that they just watched, you know, someone stealing a Game Boy yesterday. And basically they were talking about my video and how they moved over to his thinking that somehow it linked together so I'm glad you know that the people the viewers that were watching originally on mine actually went over to his too you know because he seems like a pretty swell person you know and it was really funny you know seeing this uh, these conversations but no I did not smuggle his Game Boy Color you know I don't know where he's from but he said that he had a purple Game Boy Color Whereas, as you can see, mine from the toddler days was the kiwi one, you know, this is the one I remember, the green one. And then another comment that people, you know, were always wondering is if my story was true or, you know, that it was made up and stuff. And I have to tell you that it is true indeed. This happened maybe like 15 years ago though, so I don't really remember all the details and stuff, you know. I was a toddler in my memory, you know, I don't remember everything. But this green Game Boy Color, like I said, I bought this from eBay. Whereas this, the Pokemon Crystal, this is the actual original one I had, you know, when I smuggled the other guy's, you know, Game Boy. And other people were also confused, you know, saying like, where are the other Pokemon games or the order or whatever. The point of this video wasn't to, you know, show you what Pokemon games came first. This was to show you, you know, my story and, you know, how I stole the Game Boy Color and how I remember, you know, Pokemon from my head. So, of course, it's going to be like, you know, out of order and stuff. I didn't really, you know look into that because it didn't really matter to the story as long as you know I got what I wanted to say across in the video and some people are saying you know my video has more plot holes than the story in Kingdom Hearts you know and one of them being you know why did I never play the game or the save file if I smuggled it well the main reason for this is basically right here you know batteries I was a toddler and we didn't really have that many batteries so I'm guessing that I ran out of batteries and so I couldn't play Pokemon Crystal anymore but I did have the Game Boy either that or I just got bored of Pokemon Crystal because I think it was the only game I had aside from Kirby's Dream Land 3 on the original Game Boy but I stole that from my friend and you know I didn't really speak that well English so something as simple as Pokemon it was kind of you know difficult to figure out what you were supposed to do and stuff and then someone else was wondering if this toddler ever went to my school or if my parents ever like said anything about you know me having like this new you know green Game Boy Color I don't remember seeing this toddler ever again I don't even remember what he looked like I went straight to the Game Boy Color I turned around and ran right back home because my house was you know right there right in front of the park so I don't remember what he looked like at all and then what my parents thought, they also didn't care. I'm not even sure, like I said, I don't remember, but I don't think they even knew that we had a Game Boy Color, you know? Either that or they thought, you know, maybe one of our friends gave it to us, you know, like let us borrow it. Cause they didn't really care, they were kind of chill, you know? And they were always, you know, at, like work and stuff, you know? Then some other oddballs were saying how they wanna like buy my cards here. Like I have, you know, like I showed you these like cheesy cards that I pulled from the basement and stuff you know the pokemon cards and there's some other ones over there i think i had like a bigger collection or something as a toddler i don't remember you know ever buying them i know my mom's friend i guess he always worked like as a janitor and so he would find them randomly and give it to us you know and some people were also asking about those pillowcases i don't think they're rare i'm not sure but you know many people seem to have you know memories of those too but no you cannot buy my pokemon cards you know these are my pokemon cards get your own Maybe like the third or fourth, you know, most uh, asked question was how long this took me to make this video. Because as you see, you know, people seem to enjoy it. You know, the stop motion and the action and also this cheesy story. It took about, I think, two weeks. If you click on the description in the video, you actually have some fun facts. I always have like fun facts in my videos, you know, basically like behind the scenes, you know, stories telling you, you know, if something funny happened or if something wrong happened. But basically, uh, it started out with, you know, I had an idea, I always wanted to make this video because it was like one of my favorite memories in the toddler days, you know, one of my stories. And I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if somehow, you know, the Game Boy Color actually opened, you know, and like you can see all the parts on the inside. So the first thing I actually recorded 
was I think the last scene in the video where you see the Game Boy Color actually opening and you know just coming together you know like all the pieces and stuff I just recorded that for fun because I have always wanted to try like stop motion and stuff but all I did basically for the stop motion I just took a picture, moved the characters a little to the left, took another picture, and I just repeated. It took a while to do, but I think in the end it was worth it, you know? And then I put all those pictures together into like the video you see here. And 90% of the entire video or everything you see like stop motion happened right here on the corner on my little desk here, you know? I had my drawing book underneath, which is why you see, you know, it's brown. It was underneath to be like a flat, not only surface, but like a color. So it could basically stay the same. And then the camera I had here stationed up, which was basically just tied to this printer here and attached to like this little tripod piece pointing down. And so that's how I made, you know, all those like animation shots. And then the live action stuff, I actually went to the store. I went to the store and I picked up the actual, you know, the mask. Because I didn't have any at the time, you know, like burglar mask. So I went over there and I picked one up. And I went to the park two times, you know. The first day, it was all snowing, so you can tell, you know, the difference. And then the second day I went, the snow completely melted, you know. So if you watch the video again, you'll be able to tell, you know, when I went the first day and when I went the second day. But I made it, you know, I edited it together so it kind of looked like, you know, I was there in one day. And then some people were also asking, you know, if during that one action, you know, live action scene, if I was wearing a NES outfit. And yes, yes I was, as you can see. You know, I have this NES outfit that I made as well as, you know, the little hat. And then here, Squibbles, you know, my, the stream mascot. I made him uh, look like, you know, Mr. Saturn here when we played Earthbound on the stream. Basically, you know, if you look closely, you might be able to see, but underneath the burglar outfit, you know, I was actually wearing this. And, you know, when it was like the different part when I had to be Ness, I just took it off and recorded that part too. And then in editing, I put it together to make it look like we're both in the same scene. This shirt, you know, I made it myself, like I painted it and stuff, you know. It's kind of uncomfortable to like wear but if you would like to see more information on this costume and how i made it you know or why i made it click on the video here because i have another story telling you how i was bleeding all over the place trying to impress you know a lovely lady while you know getting the materials for this shirt and so you know that's why it took so long to make this video because i was doing all this stuff you know and basically one shot after another i kept getting more ideas and i was actually writing the script as i was recording this stuff so it took maybe you know like half the day to do one scene with the stop motion you know and then when i was you know sitting down to you know like edit it together i was actually writing you know what to say and stuff and like i said it felt all natural because it came you know from my memories and stuff and then some people are saying you know oh you were you know a child you couldn't be poor look at all that money you're throwing in the video look at all those 100 dollars bills well to tell you that those are actually fake money, you know, that I use in my videos. But the idea was actually from a video I saw online from Indie Mogul. They're really cool, you know, uh, DIY like YouTube channel that kind of, you know, help me like make like cheesy ideas or props and stuff. And so if you actually look at a close up, you know, of my, you know, these fake, you know, printed paper dollar bills, you can see the guy's face on there, Eric Beck, you know, from Indie Mogul, you know, and so. It does look real from a distance, but you can clearly see it's fake, you know, money printed from the printer. So it worked in the video and that's why I use it because, you know, it's really funny. Another thing people are always saying, you know, did you hear? Did you hear it? I don't know if you heard it, but the Lavender theme song was playing in the background. That was uh, put there on purpose, you know, to make it, you know, like this, you know, spooky and... Uh, eerie like feeling you know during that one part of the video and I think that part was playing when I was talking about how Pokemon was taking over the world I think so that's why you know that's why I did that it was supposed to be cheesy you know and you even see it you know at the end of every single one of my videos I have a little list of songs I use you know I always give like credits to all the music I use and one of them is Lavender Town and some people you know wondered if you know during this part of the video if this was Bill Cipher in the corner over there and yes it is indeed Bill Cipher as you can see you know I made it myself from paper you know it's just yellow paper and then like foam cut here you know for the eye and stuff but I am a fan of Gravity Falls it's one of my favorite you know cartoons from the recent years and it's really cool it was only two seasons but I recommend everyone take a yonder at it if you like mystery or you know if you like to laugh or if you just like something fun to watch but as you see if you're fans of the show you'll recognize me I'm supposed to be Grunkle Stan you know I have the little uh bow tie here and the little hat and I also have these different glasses but I don't know where they are 
And speaking of which, I don't only like, you know, Gravity Falls, but Steven Universe as well. Uh, one of my music videos, I was actually supposed to be Greg, you know, Steven's dead, and I played like one of his songs. One of my favorite songs by him, you know, on the ukulele here. And in that video, I actually had a pillow underneath, and people thought, you know, I was actually, you know, like really, really fat. They thought I was like pregnant or something, you know. And then other people, you know, were saying how this video is so awesome, you know, thank you for doing it, you know, good job on the work, you know, I see you worked really hard on it, you know, and all that good stuff congratulating me you know and it feels very good you know at first it was overwhelming I was trying to search like where are all these people coming from you know like I don't think anyone you know like recommended them to my video like another like big youtuber or something but I asked around and I think they said most of them arrived from on the corner sometimes YouTube recommends your video or something you know so that's surprising because that's never happened to me before so I hope you know everyone enjoyed it because it was really fun to make you know it brings a little tear that we actually you know have a video that did pretty well you know and I'm quite proud of that you know and then by far my favorite comment you know in the entire video is this one right here you are dog poop you know that is all he said you are dog poop I think that one that comment right there wins you know the entire like video you know and this video too but with that said ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching my video thank you very much for all the new followers you know, in about two weeks, I went from like 300 followers to 3,000, which is insane, you know. So I'd like to thank every single person here watching or everyone who followed. I hope this video gave you more, you know, insight on the behind the scenes or, you know, what went into this video or to answer some of your questions, you know. Little Tear, I'm sorry. I didn't know that, you know, the Chris was the default name in Pokemon Crystal. So I guess, you know, maybe I don't have his original save. I think I do. And tell me, Jacob, I like videos like this, you know, like my drawings or my stories or my cheesy action videos. Or I like videos like this, you know, when I do streams and stuff, you know. Put it in the comments, I'm gonna read it. And I'll try to make more videos here. Cause you know, you gotta make sure, you know, I'm not lazy over here, you know, so I can make more. But thanks for watching and see you on the next video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully, I don't know, hopefully we slowly start growing, you know, this channel here with more videos to come in the future. Goodbye everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> that never works. I always try, you know, I always try to throw the hat like right at the thing and cut it there, but it never works.